this is one of the PRs which is merged after 10 years of starting it and we are talking about none other than ExpressJS which we all know about. Let's take a look at this ExpressJS version 5 and how this is working. So 10 years ago on July 2014 the Express version 5 release pull request was open and now at long last it's been merged and published which is crazy to think about that one PR took 10 years to properly merge and there are not a lot of changes I would see I would say probably like some of this PR the number of line changes at least is something that we have also done as a company in you know in in a day's time. So what's happening? Why did it take 10 years of time? Express was the most stable project around without his contributions and those of many others this release could not have happened. Eight months ago we went public with a plan to move Express forward. This plan included recommitting to the governance outlines a year ago and adding more contributors to help kickstart the project. Many people may not realize that the robust project governance is critical to the health of a large open source project. So what about version 5? What's changed? Well, this release is designed to be boring. That means there would be no new spicy or interesting things I'm assuming. That may sound odd, but we have intentionally kept it simple to unblock the ecosystem and enable more impactful changes in the future releases. So I'm thinking like this is more of a for them to, you know, just get started with releasing more things than just releasing a big thing. This is also about signaling to the Node.js ecosystem that Express is moving again. This is this is what I meant, like, you know, because there are a lot of things that has happened now when Express was you know not doing a lot of updates there were many frameworks that were introduced many of them addressing things of you know performance issues by express or some other things here and there but we know that express remains undefeated because it's still like one of the most popular ways of creating an HTTP server in node.js the focus of this release is dropping on old versions of node.js support addressing security concerns and simplifying maintenance before going into these changes in this release let's address why this it was released as version 5 on the next distribution time as a part of reviving project we started a security working group and a security triage team to address the growing needs around open source supply chain attacks while we weren't able to simultaneously release version 5 this blog post the change log and the documentation we felt it is the most important to have secure and stable release as soon as possible we'll provide more details on our LTS including when the release will move from next to latest so you mean you see that the next means that it's still like they have not marked this as the latest available thing right it's still I'm assuming that if I go to npm js express take a look you can see it still stays version 4.2.1 right so that means it's not latest that is what they mean right if they would have made it latest this would have shown express version 5 by the time maybe you're watching this video this already is latest i don't know but for now it is something which would need some time so version 5 release has minimum possible number of breaking changes listed here in order of impact the first one is ending support for old node.js versions so i didn't know that express supported versions all the way back to 0. 10 of node.js and now it's only node 18 and above so this obviously is an important change because supporting old node.js versions has been holding back many critical performance and maintainability changes because you know that you know when you have to support older versions you also have to support their quirks and their lack of features and all of that this change also enables more stable and maintainable ci adopting new languages runtime features and dropping dependencies that are no longer required they have also updated a couple of packages from 0. Point something to version 8 so you can see like how old as a technology express has gotten which now they are reviving back which is great to know which incorporates many years of changes if you were using any of the 5.0.0 beta releases a last minute update which greatly changed the path semantics to remove possibility of any redos attacks interesting so this blog post in itself looks interesting i'll probably cover this in some other video but coming back to the topic so they don't use regex anymore regular expressions for the release no longer supports sub expressions regular expressions for example this thing this is a commonly used pattern but we removed it for security reasons unfortunately it's easy to write a regular expression that has exponential time behavior when parsing input this dreaded regular expression denial of service attack okay redos is regular expression denial of service where the regular expression itself Itself is so complex that it eats up a lot of your CPU hence blocking the main thread and you know just decreasing the performance overall interesting so there are a couple of more changes which are not so exciting of course like they mentioned that this release is supposed to be boring but the interesting part over here is that a lot of these things a lot of these changes what they signal is that ExpressJS is back and a lot of other frameworks should be very cautious about this because if you look at compare npm 
downloads so if i look at express for example and if i look at some of these new frameworks like hono js and if i look at something like fastify and what else do we have express versus fastify versus koa is also something i've heard about i don't know if they are equivalent or not nest.js restify so you see all of them all of their downloads combined even doesn't match express right and if you take a look at five years even express as a framework is only growing right i don't know what happened over here in october 2021 maybe they don't have data before that or I don't know if package name was changed or something but you see that all of these frameworks are not even close in terms of the popularity and adaptability of express.js and now that express is back these should be really worried in terms of like you know what express and the team is gonna do because there is a lot of scope for optimization performance improvements a lot of things are there which can be improved and i'm excited to see where express takes us from this point onwards so that's all for this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next one really soon.